Okay, here we are starting the next phase of our project. Of course, it hasn't been long since we finished the, the driveway and retaining wall, but uh, time moves forward. So on the lot next door to us, which um, is also part of our property, we've started to clear, clear the lot of a lot of the saplings. We're starting here at the street edge and you can see Casey, he's got the excavator pulling out a lot of the small saplings along the, the, the road side, but he's also going to be pulling down some of the smaller, smaller trees and trimming branches up. And so we are on our way. Well, we are here on the first day of winter, I believe, December 21st. And we are already making some progress on clearing the lot next to the house, our second lot. And what Casey's working on right now is clearing all the small saplings from the street line. So it's really opening up our view, our view from the lot outward. And it's also going to uh, put the lot more in line with what we see in the in this corner of the neighborhood, where people have their uh, lots cleared at the street and so as you drive through it's just got a nice pleasant open look. The noise we hear over to the right is just hand clearing of the um, of the underbrush so I guess instead of trying to bring in some equipment he's just doing it by hand. I'm going to get a different view here. Yep there he is. So, a lot of underbrush to clear. Let me zoom back out. And a lot of saplings, all this little stuff is coming out. Don and Casey walked around and decided what trees to keep on, on site. There's Don keeping an eye on it. And this is exciting. I think, um, he's, I think he's also asked Casey to trim the trees up. So we're taking off those low branches, so no more uh, getting swept off the lawnmower as you, as you mow. So this is the start. More to come later. Taking just one swing around, looking at the upper area. This house, this big house up here that uh, dominates this hillside, I know he's going to be happy that we've cleared the next door lot out. But again, here's some saplings, more pines. Lots of underbrush, and we swing down. There's our house right now. And then one more look as we look at the uh, horizon. So you start to see uh, from this, we get a little higher view. We can see these mountains off to the north and a better view of the mountains off to the west. So a little bit higher view than we've had from the house. Well, we're heading back to the house that I take a picture of the stairs that Don built and you can see its proximity to the cabin. So it's looking real good. I'll show you the railing when we get up close. And here we are looking down the railing. But just to take a quick look at the, uh, got a top cap on the 4x4s and then Jordan, our night owl, night owl ironworks guy, he's just done a, a nice detail on each of the the, um, I don't know what you'd call that. Hey, there's our kitty. Hey, kitty. Apparently he's been inspecting the work next door. I'm not sure what he thinks about all the trees coming out. But here he is. Oh, is he coming? Are you going to come up the stairs? All right. Yeah, good to see you too. Okay, back to the, the posts, and then what we have on each one is um, a solar light, and it just uh, it just stays on for a few hours each evening once it gets dark, but it just provides a nice, inviting look. Okay, that's our stairs. Ah, the sound of a lawnmower. Normally you hear this spring, summer, and fall, but here we have a lawnmower in winter. So the property is really starting to open up, as you can see. An amazing difference. 
the lawn mowing he's doing is not only taking down the underbrush, but it's also mulching the leaves. So I think it's going to look great. Actually, it's already looking great. Here you can see the guy that's trimming down the small trees and clearing up the, the branches. Don, what is that? It, it's almost like a weed eater, but it's got a blade on it. Yeah. Is it a weed eater? Well, it's a weed eater. It's the same principle, but they put a blade on the end. A metal blade that and spins and he... through all the saplings and... He just hacks away at it. Yep. Yeah, and he's, he's cutting stuff that's probably two, two and a half inches in diameter. Yeah, yeah, it's good. You can see Casey's brother over there, he's hauling it back down the hill to be put into the trailer. That's pretty good sized stuff for this weed eater. Yeah, it is. There's an uphill view from the road. Come around, see where they're still working the... I don't know what that's called. What's that called, Don, that he's using? Uh, excavator. An excavator. It's looking good. He's got his brother there dragging the limbs. But Casey was saying that this um, piece of equipment, it's a back saver and it saves time. He says with all this work, if they'd have been doing it by hand, they'd still be down here on this little corner. So they have made short work of one and a half acres. All right, here's a wrap up of the project. One and a half days in and out, but that piece of equipment made a huge difference. Scanning from right at the top of our stairs and panning around. It's looking great. Here's the upper view looking down. It's our top corner. You can now see all the way to the street. All right, so here we're down closer to the street. And there's still more work to be done but it's definitely more manageable and it all looks great. This area here was before had uh, blackberry vines and probably some poison oak in there and different things. Um, saplings all along. And saplings, that was the big change. And here's a view down by the road. This is where the biggest change was because this was full of small saplings that, uh, I mean, they're fine for privacy, but it's much nicer, we think, to have it open because that way you can look up into the property and just see all the nice land and trees. You can see all the trees are trimmed up um, high enough so that when Don mows, they won't sweep them off the mower, which is a good thing. So, all right, that's a wrap for this video. We'll uh, talk to you later.